sir. Thank you, Mr. Kola Ogulola. He has said a lot. We can pin this blame to a lot of people, the parents, schools that refuse to teach or do their own job. They are used as some lecturers and say, what's my own business? Eh, they are not paying us now. So, even a friend of mine said that eh, because of this ass now, eh, she, has, she has been going to her boyfriend's place and now her boyfriend now is doing Yahoo, this and that. Imagine they are not on strike, they will be in their lecture. Yes, they will be in their lecture room receiving lectures and like mr Kola said that an idle hand is what a devil workshop so next to my guest in case anybody do you have anyone anything yeah. to say sir like the, the speaker just said i just want to bring the aspect of the government irresponsibility mm. when there is breakdown of law and order definitely the society is going wide mm. even there is no society that cannot misbehave, but what guides a society to be seen is the law and order. Mm. So if a child should err, the law will catch up with that child and be thrown in the jail or something will happen, will face the consequences of the law. But this has changed. There is perversion in justice. Mm, yes. And so everybody that does it is, 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 goes scot free. How many of the Yahoo boys have been sentenced to prison? No. And how many of the Yahoo boys? There was last year, do you know that they celebrated Yahoo Day? Wow. They did. Hey. They did. And they have nothing happened. Those people that were picked up were released. Wow. Because they have connections. Yes. And so, how can we now say something is wrong with the society? Hmm. It's because there's a breakdown in law and order and so everybody is just doing whatever they like yes. people just kill the ritualists are there in town nobody's talking about them yes and another thing i would like to talk about is that the society has lost value for for hard work hmm. the people that are working hard are not celebrated yes it's people that you are wondering so what is the source of their wealth that are being celebrated and nothing happened i could remember a case of something that happened in britain one of the prime ministers in britain that bought a house the press came out and said excuse me how did you get the money to buy the house wow. and the man has to go to issue of how he mortgaged his house mm. in order to buy another house, house so that they can have something that is transparency. Yes. Um, yes. Nobody will question anybody with words. Yes. In Nigeria. And so because of that, people are also make up their mind to do more evil. Yes. Because Anything. nobody is facing the consequence of their evils. Mm -hmm. And so I think the barista can also help us in this area. Yes. To, to talk more into this uh, major issue. Thank you. And before I talk about that legal aspect, I want to appreciate Mr. Kola and Mr. Naki for expanding the scope of the blame yes. from the parents. Yes. And generally, there are so many of us, I use the word us, because yes. nobody is left out of it. Yes. If your brother becomes a governor today, I doubt if he will go to work. Mm. It becomes a mentality in Nigeria. Even a counselor. His brothers will start waiting at home, sitting at home, waiting for him to bring the national king. They call it yes. national king. And for that purpose, before you know, he will go extra mile to start getting what does not go wrong. Mm. Schools we're talking about now are looking forward to making good results, not minding whether the students that are making this result are actually defended. Yes. A friend of mine went for an interview in Tarawa in Janeiro. He saw a, a, a candidate who had B3 now, right? In English. I said, ah, this result is fantastic. Where did you write this? Sibat Rejifa. Meaning, I don't understand English. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You understand? So, this, that's why I said we cannot blame the parents alone. It's, it's encompassing. It involves all of us. We have to change that mentality. If not, things will get worse. Coming back to legal perspective. Genuinely, Nigeria has one of the best law in Africa. Mm. But, like I said, you and I will not let it work. 
you rightly pointed out some areas of uh, this cyber crime. Now, Nigeria was, Africa generally, was a very highly moral continent until some people came. And when they came, they gave us ideas. These ideas we started working with. Nigerians are very intelligent people. So when you give them A, they will add B. And before you know, we are better than you. you, you, you let, let me take this instance. You hear someone saying, ah, if you find particles in Coca-Cola, find particles in drinks, you can make claim, you can go down. It is not possible in Nigeria. It succeeds, it succeeded in Ghana, it succeeded in Canada, it succeeded in US, in Britain, in Cameroon, in France. It failed in Nigeria. Because Nigerians look at it and say, let me add one plus one and give me three. Mm. Until today, in fact, the last Supreme Court decision on it is to the fact that even if you find particles in drinks, it cannot harm you. <laughs> so you see, and this were argument posed to them. And harm is one of the, con uh, the grounds you must prove to succeed that yes, I took the drink. Yes, he harmed me, he damaged this or that, and in cure cause before you will succeed. Now, Supreme Court is saying, even if you find it, it cannot harm you. Mm. So, and these are the argument that we, you and I, pose to them. They don't just come up with the rulings and judgment. They come up adding your argument to his own, to our own, his own, my own, before they will decide. You understand? Now, talking about crime generally. Yes. Now, in Nigeria, it has become common sense that wet will no longer be gotten by unless by uh, legal means, unless crime. Mm. In the 80s, those who watch cockroach don't uh, check meat, uh, things fall apart. Yes. The legend master. Mm. Uh, taste by moonlight. Yes. You see, you, even the even the, the actors in those movies, you will see them, you will learn more out. Today, our lives have been monetized. To the extent we are, we are blaming parents. Parents, to an extent, they are trying. Thank God Mr. Kola mentioned it. How can I send a child to the university for seven years for a four years course? And that child will come outside, I will start feeding him, buying him clothes, buying him giving him pocket money, even recharge card money. Send him for second course. Send him for second course. <laughs> and you said I should not expect that Ash. Uh, the Yorubas will say Onjiomo. So when are we going to eat this Onjiomo for crying loud? Sincerely, it, I'm not blaming the politicians. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm blaming everybody. Hmm. I have a friend who is a building engineer. We were going to Lagos one day and he was showing me. You see that church? I built it. You see that one? I built it. As we were going, he was telling me the churches that he built. I was not asking him, why are you not attending the nature? He said, oh, lawyer, you won't understand. I know what we buried here. Wow. I don't know if you understand. Yeah, hi. Was it their parents serious. that told them to bury something so that they would get members? Hmm. Of course not. Okay, my brother, Mr. Sonny, made mention of hotels. If I build a hotel today, my father will not be involved in it. So the parents had a limit to where they would maintain or take care of the children. In fact, I used to tell my children, once you are out of secondary school, I'm no longer responsible for whatever happened to you. Because at that point in time, you, if, by the time a child is in high institution, how do I make that child? A child that comes only once a month or once in two months, or even three months, as yes. the case might be. Yes. So automatically, you start looking beyond the rules of parents. Mm. Look, apportioning this same blame to others. Mm. I don't blame teachers. Today, the teacher, some people are in the teaching profession because there is no choice. Yes. Not because they choose to be there. Yeah. Such a person want to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And you say you should not say handout. Thank God for my university. It was a rule, you don't say handout. It's a 
a, a new generation university, but probably because it was a new university, the, the state made sure students are trained, not just lectured. Mm. But today, I try to call you, we want to write an exam and our handout is 12. My brother, the parents will buy it. At the end of the day, this child will come outside. You will still start buying him on the wheels. Mm. And as a result of this decadence, everybody start looking for how to cut corners. Um, I want to round up with the legal aspect of how this decadence has come this far, eating this much into the society, into our life, into our value as people. You see, Mr. Banky said something. Nobody is ready to be punished for his or her offense. My brother was blaming the parents for not disciplining them. Discipline is in several ways. Even according to the law, every offense has its own punishment. But what is the basic aim of legal punishment is reformation. And that is why you hear everybody crying against capital punishment. If you kill somebody, how do you reform that person? So in most cases, the law is always lenient. And again, if you are not careful, you will punish an innocent for the crime of somebody else. So, and that what took us to the issue of the fact that the person was, the crime was being proved beyond all doubt. It must be pinned to that person. Once it is pinned to that person, he will be punished with the magnitude of that punishment ascribed to the offense. But where I said people are no longer, we have lost our value, like you said, we've lost our morality. A mother, in, in a matter I had, I was in court that day, the mother met, had to go and meet a retired judge in their village to call the magistrate to pardon her son. The woman, the magistrate is still in service in this state. Incidentally, the man called her. When she got to court, he asked the boy to stand up. The mother was also in court. said, tell us what happened. Now look at it. The, the case he was charged for was for armed robbery. Now, the owner of, it was this fairly used phone stuff. He bought the phone from what he said. But the owner of the phone said he was robbed at gunpoint where they collected not only the phone, his Highlander Jeep. And in law, it is immaterial. Even if it is this pen that the person robbed, he will be charged for armed robbery. If he is convicted, he will die. He will be sentenced to death. It is not the value of what he robbed. It is the nature of the offense itself. Somebody who used knife to rob this pen, and the person who used gun to rob bank is the same offense. Now, we are looking at a way of fishing out, fishing out this food from the society. But a mother is there somewhere saying, let my son go. Not the mother alone. What about the you elder state man George. that she went to meet? Who also can do it? Hmm. Supposing the magistrate can do that, who would have heard of it? Yes. Maybe she should just get to court and strike the matter out. And that will have been the end of it. Sincerely, no lawyer is happy seeing arm robbers go in school because some of them will confess to you. Mm. But when we are blaming people again, we also look at the people who investigate that matter. By the time they will come to court with very porous level of investigation because they are not properly kept. So you can see that it's not about parents alone. The security agencies are not properly kept as far. I had whether I've never heard of that kind of rumor before that the police are warming up to go on strike in Nigeria. So you can see, you will sympathize with them when you start hearing how they are being treated. Every dam of their materials are being purchased by them individually. So why would they not look for a way of enriching themselves? So, like I said, the blame is on each and every one of us. And unless we accept it and look at how we could curb it, the, 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 the problem will continue. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Barista Ekunu Gabriel. So, sir, do you have anything to say, sir?
the generation of uh, the type of parents we have now, let me say is everything the blame can be put on the generation of the parents we have now. Okay. okay. Like uh, Mr. Kola said, he said they will blame the government. Mm. Who are people in government? <laughs> yes, so this generation of the parents. Yes. Mm. They will blame the police. Who are the top people? Is the generation of men. Mm. The judge, like uh, a barrister said, said yes. who is the judge? Is it my generation? No, no, no. Who <laughs> is this same parent generation mm. now? Mm. If the people that are in charge during their own generation behave that way, they will have similarity. Yes. Mm. So because the people in charge during their own generation did stood on their guard that this is right and this is what we will do. Mm. Everybody. Yeah. But now look at it. The black like, the barrister just said. That the mother have to go to his village, to her village and start meeting the, the elder state man. This and this. is it my generation that I come and meet? Mm. Is, it, is it the same parents you now? Yes, yes, yes. They are the one in government, they are the one in every ministry, they are the one doing this, they are, they are the one yes. collecting money from students to pass students. Yes. It's not my generation. Yes. Mm. They are the one issuing certificates, they are the one doing everything. Mm. They are the one that build hotel. Say yes. if you build hotel, is it my generation that build hotel? Is this the parent generation? Yes. So their generation has failed in their duties. And this, if, if anyhow you do it, anyhow you plan it, if you fail in your duty, there's a say in, in the Muslim way that if the Satan destroy two friends, as in the cause confusion between the two friends and their own friends, The, if that is the agent, then the Satan will tell you that, come, oh, you have not done well. Mm. Say, why? They just separate two friends, it's nothing. Mm. If, it's, if the, one of the agents of the devil separate two countries, say, you have not done well. Mm. Say, ah. Okay, what will I do? Say, go and separate the family. Mm. Once you separate one family, you have separate a country. Yes. So the failure of responsibility, the responsibility of the parent, if they fail, it's as if the whole country has failed. Mm. The 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 uh, the actor we have on the street now, doing this and that, is it is for who? Mm. Now there is a proposal that they should stop the actor in Lagos State. Yes, I will say. Is is my is not my generation that passed it to, but it's it's, uh, it's not my also, so it's not my generation that I refuse again. Mm. It's the parent generation. I say no, no, they are making, they are making money. money. They, they are part of And my generation is suffering it. Yes. We will pay transport. Have to uh -huh. So is this generation? It's not that we you know I'm not blaming the whole I'm not as in I will have it. I'm not but, uh -huh. yes. but is this their generation? Hmm. 